Hey guys, Clevel here, and today we have kind of a simple but also confusing concept to cover. So I know a lot of you guys are moving from commands into data packs, and you may be wondering, how do I do conditionals? You know, how do I do the good old comparator or conditional command? Now, in case you're not sure what I mean by conditional, here is a example. So this command is going to check if there's a player within three blocks, and that's all it does. But this one is a conditional chain, and it will say hi. And since it's a conditional chain, it will only activate if the previous was true. So let's go ahead and click one, and it does nothing. But now I'm close, and it says hi. All right, so that's basically how conditionals work, or you can also just chalk it up to a comparator. So not there, nothing, and I'm there. It pops up, right? So that's essentially what I mean by conditional. So how do we do this in a data pack? Because data packs don't have a conditional setting. They don't have a comparator. Well, it's fairly simple, um, but sometimes you might overlook it. So in conditional, we're going to do, uh, how about we just do two examples? So we're gonna do one that is very basic and one that is a little bit more complicated. So the basic one is what I just showed you. So execute if entity at a distance distance equals dot dot three and this is where you may clearly know how to fix this to be conditional you just do run say hi so now anytime i'm within three it says hi so if i type reload and uh, i do data pack and i do function test conditional it will say hi but if i put it in this command block here power from over here it won't do anything unless I'm close all right so that's a basic example so let's just say close so we know what it's doing now let's go over the second example this one is testing if something happens so let's go ahead and do uh, this one so set block to die right so it would say cannot set block if the block cannot be set so we're gonna do this and if I do this it's either true or false right and Creating some kind of branch based off of uh, condition can be difficult here because you, you know there's nothing you can do after this. There's nothing after here. I can't like put a second command and say uh, conditional, right? Um, so to actually do a conditional with this guy, you have to have again another execute c scenario, but you have to do execute store result success score, and let's go bool test. All right, so. So, uh, sorry, instead of result, it's just success. So store success score, I don't use success often. Uh, bool test, and test is a fake score, is just a scoreboard, and bool is a fake player. So then execute if score bool test matches one run, say, placed. So now we can have some kind of conditional, and we can make anywhere I have the word say, you can just substitute that for a function to have like a list of things that would happen if you had like a long conditional chain. Um, so if I do reload, and then I play this, it'll say placed once, but it doesn't say placed the second time. And if I put test on the sidebar, you can see bool is zero. So it was able to place it, so bool is one, but it can't place it because there's already die right there. So now it's zero. Um, so that's another situation. Now we have one more and that's really um, how to only do something once. Okay, so this is a, um, so let's say this is a repeating command and it's just like happening really, really fast. Um, and I don't want to spam the word close. Okay, so this is where we can do stuff like um, tag equals not checked. So you just add more conditions to it that will become true afterwards. So now we have to play a function that is test colon close, okay? And then in close, we do say close tag add s add checked. Okay, so now this condition will be false. You won't have, you will have the tag once it plays the function. So once this happened one time, you'll have the tag and then that's, uh, you should change this from if to as, and now the at s will work. If is just a better thing to do if you um, if you're just checking something, it's lighter weight. But as is better if you're uh, wanting to do stuff in a sub function. Anyway, so that only said close once, and now it won't say it again because I have the tag. Uh, so that's pretty much it. Those are all your ways to check. Bonus: add a hashtag in front of the word bool to make the variable invisible. So if I type reload 
and do scoreboard players reset pool test. Now it will still work as you intend to, but you won't see the word bool. And hashtag just makes it an invisible variable. Anyways, that's pretty much it, guys. If you thought that was useful, leave a like. Let me know what you want to see, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.